the relationship with winter is a really interesting one because it's like a normal relationship. It has its highs and lows, but overall it's like the best relationship you've ever had in your life. It's your best friend. My name is Leah Evans and I'm from Revelstoke, BC. I'm Jasmine Caton and I'm from Nelson, BC. At the beginning of the winter, I'm in my ski boots every day and a whole season of work stretching out in front of me. I have a lot of plans. I'm having a good time in the mountains, but it's also really busy. I think people describe me as hardworking. I'm willing to put in a lot of sweat to get the things that I want out of my experiences. I basically had like a roller coaster of a season and it had some really amazing moments where you're like, this is the best snow I've ever had. And then I had some times where I had to take a break. Because I live at hyper speed during the winter. I feel like I, I live a full year in just those six months of winter. So when spring comes, I really try and make some space for doing anything that I want and feel like I need. The dreams of Norway are kind of in every skier's mind of ocean, mountain, and connecting the two. I spend the whole winter trying to get to summits or ski a certain amount of vertical and being in these mountains feels like a good time to just slow down, really look around. So just enjoy being here. It's been really cool to be here with Jasmine and see how she operates. There's never a point or a time where she's like, mm, I don't think I can do that. She has a drive that when it's focused, it's amazing where her mind and her body can take her in this like really graceful but powerful way. So it's really cool to be amongst those females that are constantly trying to find that highest spot within themselves. Well, Leah is somebody who comes from a really strong skiing background and recently has been really dedicating herself to backcountry skiing. And it's been fun in the three or four years that I've known her to watch her skill set in the mountains really grow. I think me and Jasmine are always seeking that, that peak. And yeah, it's not super feminine trait to always be like hunting this thing. But I think once you enter that mode and you're in that landscape and that place, you feel your best and you feel your most beautiful. Yeah, it's truly what makes you come alive. It's something that in general I'm trying to accomplish in my life right now is to slow down. And this time in Norway has been the perfect chance to really embrace that. When I start to feel spring, I fully re-access a different part of myself. This kind of wrapping up of winter and it's kind of like a best friend that goes away on a trip and then I'll see them again next year. And I feel like when I see them again, it's kind of like, oh, remember all those good powder days we had? Remember when we skied that cliff? Or like, oh, that happened, that wasn't so good. But yeah, I kind of just let it go. And through that letting go, it parcels up the winter and yeah, you move on. and give that other side some time to bloom.